you know what? I'll take that back. A lot of the, you know, there's usually a, a feminine gay. Uh -huh, yeah. And then a... Butchy. Butchy, dominant, more dominant gay. Mm -hmm. And usually the more dominant gay is a stocky build, but they're not really... Are you talking about women or men? Women. Women. Yeah. I, I think they let themselves go. They, they are like, hey, man, we're going to be the man of this relationship. Oh, look at these guys. They're all... But, but they're so, usually, <laughs> you know... <laughs> Drink some beer. Oh, uh, yeah, they bigger are. Bigger athletic, they're, not obese, it really. said, Yeah, it said that <clears throat> gay women are two times more likely to be obey, obese over straight women. Really? Mm-hmm. And, and, and I think with the gay men, it's just they really like taking care of themselves. Yeah, yeah so I think fitness so. fitness is, is right. a big part of it. They're very much the... Uh, you know, like how the metrosexual men, even metrosexual men are very, you know, clean cut, brows are done, hair's done, pedicures, manicures, and... <laughs> like cowboy when it's split in. You know, I don't... Yeah, that's exactly right. I don't consider us to be uh, gay by no means, but would we be considered metrosexuals? No. Oh. Well, I mean, I, I don't think care we about have my, a few tendencies. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't care about my fingernail. I mean, they're always clean. Oh, I, I do. I don't like my hands dirty, but I don't let my fingernails grow. I chew on them, but I don't. Very, I don't match on my clothes, but I don't like my hair. I mean, I don't know. I I, I don't primp, but I don't your, like to be dirty. Your main metrosexual tendencies would probably be that you like to look in the mirror. Oh, good call. A lot. <laughs> Continuously. I like a that. lot. And but I'm flexing most of the time. You're not helping your story out okay. there, babe. Um, you like to look in the mirror a lot, and you do. You you like you go outside and it's humid. You get sticky. You're like, I have to have a shower like right now. Oh God, yes. Yeah. You know, and, and, I, just, like, and I, like I don't to, mean metrosexual. That means you want to be clean. Yeah, I well, like. Yeah. I'm saying I like to be clean. I don't mind taking a couple showers. I like to sweat when I'm working out or I'm doing something. I don't mind sweating. I don't mind getting dirty. But I'm the same way as Chris. I don't mind working and getting my hands dirty. Right. But when I'm done, I want my hands clean and washed. Oh, my headlight I mean, went out. Immediately. And you had to take everything but the one tire off. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Cadillac don't want you to be able to fix your stuff. Correct. So I had to take the entire black cover right. that goes on the top, three screws, uh, five push, five or six push locks that come out, Take, pull the whole headlight out. It has a, you pop it out. Then a cover comes off. Then the light comes out. <laughs> it's like a Get Smart commercial. <clears throat> Dang near. <laughs> and I got through and I went. I could not do it. It, it was just the dirt. You know, it wasn't right. greasy. Right. It was just that old nasty dirt. Grimy. I'm like, oh. I can't. I couldn't do it. I could not do it. I could not do it and have dirty hands. Remember uh -huh. we used to get that. We used to work on roof and we'd get that tar that, that gray. Old, that, yep, that putty. That putty. <laughs> oh, it would drive me nuts. And it would, listen, that putty <laughs> would not come off. It, it wasn't like we couldn't wash it off because it was sticky. And then the sticky, the putty would get sticky. The sweat and it gets dirty. Now your hands are sticky and 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 uh. Man, we used to like... take we used to take a razor knife and scrape it and yeah. try to scrape it off. Hated it. It was the stickiest. Stuff. Oh, that's gross. Second stickiest stuff I know. That's exactly right. You are like Mr. Handyman. And you lately. went, you went oh, from Stephanie. I can fix anything. It's exactly right. Been like except, Handyman lately. Except a timing. What was it? What's the one thing you you said? I screw it. I took it apart. I can't do it. I, I had a blown head gasket. <laughs> uh, I had a cracked head. And I was I was young, I was broke. My dad didn't work on cars. My stepdad didn't work on cars. Luckily my mom didn't work on cars. <laughs> my grandfather and them, you know, they, they they worked on their tractors and stuff. But I and I was broke and I went, I'm I'm I gotta do this. I gotta take this apart. I picked it all up, took it to a mechanic and went, Can you put all this back together? <laughs> And he put it all back together, left a rag under the hood, it burned up, and you got, got a best friend out. And there it is. That's how that's how that story worked. <laughs> well, let's see, you went from car fixing to yesterday morning's plumbing fixing. 
So you did a little plumbing work yesterday morning. Talk about having crap yeah. on your hands. <laughs> it was a crappy situation. <laughs> you have been, you know what? I think maybe we need to go down to the Alan Samuels House of Travel because after your yesterday's fiasco in the morning, you, you need might a need a vacation. That was the first thing I woke up to. Oh, that's <clears throat> even better. Hey, let me tell you the story. Caden, everybody knows Caden, right? Drops half an egg in, half a plastic egg in a toilet. He loves those. Flushes it. His mother sees this. Let's don't tell anybody. It ain't a big deal. Right, right. Understandable. It's just gonna go away. <laughs> it, it, you know, it's gonna just wash on that. It's that big. Yeah. Worry about it. Well, Colin has to use the bathroom. The morning. Now it stopped up. <laughs> so, that was, the, that was the first part. That was the first part. And I went, all right, could, could you at least told somebody? So, coat hanger, going to try to push it on through, right. whatever. Didn't work. So, I got to pull the toilet. Ooh. Well, before I can pull the toilet, we blink our eyes and Caden flushes the toilet one more time. Everywhere. Everywhere. So oh, now, that's nice. so now, you know, all the dirty towels come out. So, got to pull the toilet, clean up crap. We dumped it all in the in the in the bathtub. That had to be cleaned. The floor had to be cleaned. His toys had to be disinfected. What a morning. That's happened to me before. When when Megan was little, she dropped a little man in there. And it got stuck sideways. Mm. It didn't go through and it got stuck. So every time paper and stuff would go in. Yeah. It would go down slowly. And finally, finally had to pull it. <clears throat> but if you need something fixed, I probably can fix it. I just don't like doing it. Oh, I know. I don't either. Mm. Because remember when I uh, dropped it at the house and they brought the backhoe over there? And <laughs> he dropped a little, re remodeling his house in Chillicothe, redoing the bathroom, <laughs> and a little bitty piece of wood fell in there. Yep. Let me tell you what that wood cost. It cost a full day of digging. Then we got the, since his dad was the mayor, got the city to come over with a backhoe. Got the city to come over with a backhoe, and they were digging it out because there was, we thought, you know, there was a, something yep. clogging the line. Digging it out, they caught a root, broke a tree. The tree branch comes, slams into the window, breaks the window out of the tractor. <laughs> oh my gosh! <clears throat> we cut the pipe. The pipe's rusted. We got to replace the piece. Cut it in half, and guess what's sitting in there? A piece of wood chip. That, that little I dropped. piece of wood chip. I dropped the wood chip, and it, it, we, we just went. And it went. Sometimes, sometimes. But we did it. We worked it. It wasn't fun. Well, I hope we don't have any more working stories. Because the only working we're going to do is tomorrow. Well, actually, today. Tonight, yeah. Tonight, we're filming another episode of Cowboy and Lucky. Got a lot of dialogue. And, man, I, I think we have this weekend covered. I'm not sure. But we have to get. Eight, nine, ten men and eight, nine, ten women that can continually play very small parts or be extras. Please. We need people. Please, please, please. This I is mean, gonna we can put TV you in different series. shirts, hats, yeah. glasses, use you over and over and over, but we got to have it. Yes. I'm done. So until tomorrow, I am Russ. <clears throat> this is Steph. That is Chris, and we are out of here.